quite a lot of it in the early stages was spent by talking to people of your age and saying, what do you want to do? And young people said to us, look, we, we want to play real instruments. We want to do real things. We want to have real music-making opportunities. As this is a vocal and tech pilot, you can see that there's no instruments, but we do have two iPads. So I'm quite intrigued to find out how they're using those iPads. So listen out for those. Bless your soul, you got your head in the clouds. think you've learned in your musical future lessons? Try and watch music lets you express yourself and yeah. just to go out there and just do it instead of holding back. I like the fact that like throughout the year we got to experiment with different instruments and not just like stuck with the one the whole time. But it was good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
let's think about some of the countries where Musical Futures is now operating. It's operating in Australia. So we've got a couple of states in Australia, and in, in one state in Australia, it's going to be the sole method of delivering music to young people in that state. It's operating in Thailand. It's operating in Brazil. It's operating in Canada. And it's operating in Singapore. And those are the main countries where it's operating. So really, you're part of, as it says, it's a, grow, it's a growing movement. It is a mo movement to shape music education. So you are at the forefront. Northern Ireland is at the forefront of music education. You are pushing the boundaries. So it's great to see that and great to see have some fantastic ambassadors for music within schools. <laughs> advice for young musicians? Just try and write your own songs as early as possible because that was one thing for like us it took it took a long time, to, long time to get going with that and once we did we sort of really started to find who we wanted to be as a band so just as early as possible if you want to start writing your own songs. Yeah and also I think play, play, actually play gigs because you know we were in a band for like a year we didn't play in gigs. Maybe two and years. It wasn't until we played one gig we were like whoa we should really do this and that and then people were like oh I saw your gig and it was great so playing loads of gigs. You know how just something to slowly tell. I had you, I see you, you need to believe to all. Look at you now, dancing like you know how. I had you. Joining up the dots with the freckles on your cheeks And it all made 